Um, hello guys, it's your boy here, I Salim. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who are new on this channel and for those who are not new, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so many of you have been asking about iOS 16. I have 16 bypass tutorials and I have posted a tool I skip for those who have watched those videos though my previous video I posted a tool called the iSkip that I used to bypass my iOS 15 but most of you have been getting an error on bypassing on your devices because um, I used like a different method to jailbreak to jailbreak the devices but it actually worked as you can see I even showed you proof on the video but some of your devices didn't work you have you are getting an error because that error was mostly caused caused by the jailbreak so most of you have been um complaining about the the jailbreak doesn't work or something like that and many of you have been asking for a tutorial about ios 16 on on ios 18 and and the uh, latest devices i check my ios 8 until uh, sorry iphone 8 until iphone x i only check my devices are supported so as you can see on my screen there i have my iphone 8 iphone 8 which is on ios 16 and not jailbroken and it's not activated so um today we're gonna show you this tutorial i'm gonna make i'm gonna jailbreak the device then i'm gonna use the tool so as you can see here's my iphone 8 which is on ios ios 16 as you can see the hello screen wallpaper let's just say like that so yeah we're gonna first jailbreak this device and then continue so i mostly like this video to reach for those who have asked for it eh? so for those any for those who are new watch my previous videos and you'll know what i'm what i mean so so that you are not left behind eh? so first of all let's go to jailbreak our device so as you all know Palarain requires to make a USB bootable, a bootable disk. So I have already made mine. So this is the USB bootable disk. Um, first of all, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make this USB bootable disk very fast. I've already made mine, so I'll just show you a, a, a real quick tutorial. First of all, you either download Ventoy or Rufus Rufus for Rufus I don't know this this Rufus or oh, Ventoy I like to use Ventoy so that you can make uh, your device bootable so here's Ventoy so you open Ventoy and here's Ventoy So after opening Ventoy and you have inserted your USB disk to make it USB bootable in your PC. So as you can see there's my, the name of my USB disk and what you should do is click install. When you click install make sure if you have any data from, which is useful in this USB disk make sure to make a backup because what this Ventoy will do or if you are gonna use Rufus it will it will um it will it will it will format your disk so if you have any data which is important you may you must make sure to to um to make a backup before you do this so after that just click yes then click ok and your device will get formatted very fast after the process i've done i just don't wanna do this because i've already done after the process have done you can just go to Ventoy and you'll 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 like copy and paste this 
copy and paste as you can see it's here don't worry about this i'll provide the iso file link in the description below of that of that jailbreak that's for ventoy but for rufus you will open rufus i'm just showing you a quick tutorial so you'll open rufus after opening rufus as you can see there's my device ventoy then make sure disco image is selected okay and then after that you're gonna um, you're gonna like see just like that then as you can see the image you have selected is an iOS hybrid but its creators have not made it compatible with ISO 4 file as a result the DD image writing mode will be enforced just click ok and click continue so after that your device will get will be made into a bootable USB disk after that you can now boot from your USB device eh? so as I said I've already made my device into a USB bootable disk so now I'll have to go and enter in a USB bootable menu and boot from the USB disk for those who don't know to boot from USB disk you can search on Google YouTube how to boot from USB so i have set my pc to automatically boot from usb as a first priority because i don't want to be clicking a fate every time i be restarting i want to jailbreak so most of the time it's either you click a fate when restarting a fate f8 f8 or f12 or you want to enter a bias menu you just enter f2 and can, you can set up you can set it up from there so as i said you can check online on how to enter your uh, that model of a pc you have into bios bios menu and boot from usb so let's go and restart our device so that you can boot from usb So guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like and share this video guys so as you can see my PC has booted from USB after reaching this stage just click enter and boot in grab 2 mode for Ventoy so group booting grab 2 mode okay so when you reach to this screen um, you see that option number one says Palarain just click enter into Palarain and so we are here guys for those who watched my previous video on iSkip tutorial so I clearly said on that video that if that doesn't work for you you must have you must boot you must create fake FS and boot fake FS because on that video I didn't boot from fake FS and I didn't, I didn't create fake FS and I didn't boot fake FS I just rootless jailbreak i perform rootless jailbreak and you can see from my device it worked but for your device which were on ios 16.4 and 16.5 it doesn't work because you have to create fake face and i clearly said in that video so many of you were getting that error because um um we didn't create fake face so for this tutorial this is for you guys you clearly Ask me to make a tutorial about iOS 16 so this is iOS 16 so when you reach to this to this screen just go to the option number two option click enter so as you can see number one says create create fake face so also the instruction clearly states press spacebar to select so we, we must select press spacebar to select option and to and enter to complete so when you select create fake FS, just click enter it will like take 10 gb of your device storage just click enter after clicking enter you can click start when you click start um your device um will your the device will automatically enter into recovery mode so as you can see telling device with UDID that to enter recovery mode 
so after entering recovery mode as you can see so when when you are ready for the fuel press enter so <clears throat> it will guide you to enter into the fuel so just press enter get ready okay volume down and side button release side button hold volume down so it will enter into the fuel mode okay our device has entered into the fuel mode and now it's booting booting pongo OS. okay as you can see now the jailbreak is done so yeah so um okay okay so it says uh it usually takes up to 10 minutes for for this for this for this um for this stage so please wait up to 10 minutes for the fake fs to be created so once the device boots up to ios run again without the create fake fs option to jailbreak so um i don't wanna as you can see my device is on it you can if you can see it says uh, it's even if yeah copying files may take up to 10 minutes so um this process you must wait make sure your device automatically boots to ios menu to the to the hello screen after hello screen because after hello screen you must perform the jailbreak without creating fake fs so now it's creating fake fs and that said may take up to 10 minutes for the fake, fake fs to be created so i think i'm gonna cut this video and create and continue recording when it, it has it has um it has boot to hello and continue from there so 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 i'll just cut this video and see you guys when it has it has it has um boot i don't want to make a long video it's long until now so i don't want to make it longer so you guys can get bored and skipping and all of that so yeah see you later a little later so okay guys um the the the, the jailbreak has done we have i have ready and uh, i've waited for like seven to ten minutes i didn't count but as you can see our device is now booting so as i said i cut the video i couldn't record the whole 10 minutes for the process to finish yeah so yeah so after the process have finished and your device will automatically boot to hello mode so now as as the instruction states once the device boots to ios run again without the create fake face again to jailbreak so press enter to quit just press enter to quit then make sure and you go to the option eh? make sure you go to options make sure you go to options and make sure that create fake face is not selected as you can see it's not selected so i'll just create i'll just press enter to go back then click start our device will automatically enter into recovery mode so let's wait okay now our device is in recovery mode we must press enter when ready for the fuel mode so yeah our device is in recovery mode so as i said it will guide you how to enter the fuel just press enter okay get ready for the fuel okay volume down and side button release side button hold volume down button okay we have entered the fuel mode our device will boot to that check ring logo booting pongos pongo s as you can see now our device booting canal and it's now it has been jailbroken and now we we have um successfully jailbroken and it will boot to the hello screen automatically boot to hello screen so now our devices has successfully been jailbroken so let's go back to the main screen 
and see if uh, the 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 three U2s detect the jailbreak. So I'm pretty sure it. I'm pretty sure it will detect the jailbreak because we have successfully. I didn't get any error. So yeah, how to go back to the hello screen? What you should do is just press enter to quit. Then number four exit. Then you either shut down then remove the usb sorry 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 yeah you either go to the option number four shut down and remove the usb disk or just click go to option number six where it says reboot i'm sorry about the brightness and when once it's rebooting just remove the usb disk so yeah let's go back to our main screen I'll just shut it down and see you. I'll just cut the video because my device, my PC is an end, low end PC. It takes usually long to boot. So, guys, yeah, I'll cut the video and see you on the main screen. Okay, guys, so now we are back on our main screen. So, I just open three U tools to verify that our device is jailbroken. And as you can see, the jailbroken status here says yes, it's jailbroken. If you notice from the from the video from the first of this video that the jailbroken status was not jailbroken. So now we have successfully jailbroken our device. Also, guys, I forgot to mention when jailbreaking a nine devices, um, your device will 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 stuck on the check crane logo like it will just stack on the check crane logo so that is a common error in check crane device in a9 devices so what you should do is just is just click control plus c that ctrl plus c then you type exit then it will take you to the start page then just click start do not disconnect your device do not do anything your device just click control plus c from that from the keyboard then type exit then press enter it will take you to the start of the page and it will successfully it will i mean it will it will continue from the from where it's stuck successfully so i forgot to mention when performing that error so as you can see now our device is successfully jailbroken 